up? Hi, my name is JD. As you can see right now, we are in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. It is scorching hot, but it is important because this is the grand finale of the FIM Asia Supermoto Championship 2017. Today is the day we're going to see who wins the whole championship. So let's talk to our first three riders in their pole positions. This was determined by yesterday's Super Chrono event. Uh, in first place, we have Simon from Denmark. Let's see how he's doing. Hi. You know, every time I see you, I have to interview you. So the camera is live now. Tell us how you feel about becoming one in uh, getting first pole position this time. I'm very happy about being in the first place for the first race because this track is so small. So a good start is very important. Okay. Okay. Do you think you're gonna win Moto One? I think it will be hard. I hope for the win, but the riders are very good. So. It will be difficult, but I will try my best. So. Okay, thank you so very much, Simon. We'll catch you in a bit. All the best. Thanks. Next, we're going to talk to Lewis Cornish. Now, it's a bit funny because Lewis has been coming in one, number one in almost every race, usually in the first pole position. Otherwise, it's Shrakan from Thailand. But today, let's see how he feels about coming in second pole position. Hi, Lewis. Hi, how's it going? Good, thanks. You? Yeah, not too bad. Okay, how do you feel about starting in the second pole position for Moto One today? Um, you know, I haven't had a start from second place this season, so um, it's going to be something a bit different. But um, the practice starts I've been doing on this bike have been really, really solid. So uh, just going to try and pull a solid start. Hopefully, get the whole shot. If not, um, I just plan to follow Simon round, and hopefully, if he makes a mistake, I can mount, like pounce on it. And if not try and open up a gap somewhere and get through into the lead but um, as I said yesterday you know the eyes are on the championship ultimately so just want to finish it bring it home on two wheels and get that championship today. That being said though yesterday you were about a second behind or less than a second behind Simon in the Super Chrono do you think that you actually will get to overtake him today? Um, you know it's not the easiest track to overtake on so I think if you're gonna if you're gonna try and overtake someone on this track you know it's never gonna be a polite passing maneuver you know uh, you have to try and make it happen, but you know I'm not afraid to try and make it happen. So, you know, if, if there's any opportunity that I can win this race, trust me, I'll be taking it. Okay, all the best. Thank you so much. And in third place in the pole position, we have Hairi from Malaysia. This is might be an advantage for him because he's in his home ground. You know, he might feel that extra oomph. So let's him ask, ask him how he's doing. Hey, Hairi. Hi. Okay, how do you feel about being in the first position among all the Asian riders today, like Skarang? Uh, saya rasa sangat selesa. Nak kata selesa pun tak, tak juga. So, insyaAllah saya akan cuba yang terbaik untuk race one ni. Harap saya dapat pull di hadapan lah untuk keadaan yang lebih selesa dan selamat. For our viewers who don't speak Malay, he was saying that he's very comfortable in his position, correct? Yep. Yeah, and uh, God willing, he will do his best and have a safe ride and beat the competition. Yeah. Okay, second question. How do you feel about possibly winning the championship for the Asian category in the overall FIM Asia Supermoto Championship? Saya, perasaan saya, saya berharap saya akan dapat yang terbaik pada pusingan yang pertama ni di mana ni adalah final untuk FIM Asia Supermoto. Hopefully, saya akan lebih mantap di race one ni lah. Okay, he said that he's going to try very hard to do very well because this is Moto One, so he's going to push it and hopefully memantapkan means improve his standing in this round. So all the best. Good luck. Thank you so very much. Now, we're going to go to Mark Brexy, the commentator of today. On to you, Mark. Thanks, JD, and uh, great to see some words of wisdom from the boys on the front row of the grid as the nerves are building and some great pictures from our crew out there. It showed you were right in the middle of the urban jungle here at Stadium uh, Butik um, Bukit Jalin. As uh, the nerves are building there, nerves are building everywhere at the moment, and so is the temperature. Very, very hot out there at the moment. And uh, similar to the conditions they practiced in yesterday, and it cooled down from about 3 o'clock yesterday afternoon. And we'll see what happens here today. But uh, there will be a new champion crowned sometime this afternoon, whether it's after this race or it goes right down to the wire of the second moto, which starts at about 4.30 this afternoon. There will be told and answered in the next 20 minutes and two laps when the, the red flag goes out.
So here we go on screen at the moment. We see a graphic of the 800 metre circuit. Some very fast sections, but some very tight sections. And uh, that shaded area just after the first corner is where the dirt section starts with the tabletop. And then a couple of doubles that uh, some are making into a triple as well. And then that fast back section, like a back fast back curve. And now looking back down the pit straight into the start finish line and the guys on the grid and we'll go through the grid pretty quickly on pole position our visiting danish rider who finished fourth in the world in 2017 simon Wilhelmsen, with a time of 47.469 about 0 0.021 of a second in front of lewis cornish the championship leader and on the outside of the front or the inside of the front row the local malaysian hero kari zakaria there in third in fourth position on the second row of the grid, as we see on screen at the moment. A bit of uh, words of wisdom from Simon as he talks to his uh, crew, just start keeping a bit relaxed. He's got the thumbs up at the moment, but he told me uh, during the course of the day that uh, this heat is really going to knock him about. He's really going to have to work for it. Coming from Denmark and uh, starting to get into the real depths of winter over there, you can fully understand why he is a bit... Uh, Worried about the, more so the heat than any of his uh, competitors at the moment. There's on screen there the local hero, the defending champion, the outgoing champion of 2016. Now, Muhammad Habibullah, or as he's popularly known around the streets and towns of Malaysia, Gabit. And uh, he would be one man that is in fine form. He's in fifth position on the grid. He did well here last year in Kuala Lumpur at Stadium Shah Alam, where he took out both races in... Uh, very definitive style. And there we are at the Complex Sukan Nagara, the National Sports Stadium here at Stadium Bukit Jalim, Jalil. Right about, uh, well, almost in the middle of KL. You can see around here there was, uh, as JD was talking to the riders, you could see the high rises in the background, the freeways. I'm just showing that we're right in the car park of Stadium Bukit Jalil. Is now in the starter's hands. So I'll get two warm-up laps before they come up, form up again and get ready to cut loose for 20 minutes plus two laps. And I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, wherever you are watching this magnificent live streaming telecast around the world, that, that it is hot sitting here in a T-shirt or a short sleeve shirt, let alone being in a set of leathers with a back protector on your boots, your gloves, your helmet, and trying to breathe in this uh, pretty stifling heat. Hard of me, a bit dry at the moment, but it is getting close. You can hear the, in the background, guys starting the engines and uh, revving them ever so slightly as they get ready for the start of this 20 minute plus two lap. Leg number one at the grand finale of the final round of the 2017. FIM Asia Supermoto Championships and just telling the world now there's some great news being released this morning that the FIM Asia and Asia Super Sports Group who are the promoters of this magnificent series have just signed another deal for a minimum of five years which is great news for the championship and proving again that uh, the Asian region is starting to really come of age as a motorsport centre of uh, this great planet we live on They've been a sleeping giant, and this uh, signing of this historic document for the FIM Asia um, area and also the Super Asia Super Sports Group will be something that will make sure that ensures this championship grows. With a bit of luck, they're aiming to take over the World Championship in the next couple of years. So, with you got the riders of the caliber of Lewis Cornish from the United Kingdom. Simon Wilhelmsen from Denmark and also the likes of Artem Teslenko from Russia shows you that it's growing in stature and there's going to be a few Americans coming over for the championship next year and also just been confirmed today too that they will be going to the Philippines again after a year's sojourn in 2017. So 2018 is shaping up as a big year on the chance that it might even be going back to Australia. The FIM Secretary General told me this morning that they're aiming to get back there as well in 2018. 
And that's uh, good, uh, well, it goes on the back of the Austra Asian Road Racing Championships heading to uh, Australia next year as part of the Australian Superbike Championship in April at the new Tail and Bend Circuit down there. So everything's starting to go in a big forward direction all the way this uh, through this region of the world. So now the nerves are really building. They've got their siding laps on, trying to get the tyres up to temperature. Not that they'll need to do much with a track temperature of around 45 degrees at the moment. So there's uh, Simon Wilhelmsen just burying the forks at the moment, getting it clicked down so it doesn't launch itself when he takes off so he can get all the power and all the torque of that uh, Husqvarna to the ground. And beside him, the man, well, it's all to play for at the moment. He's got a 19-point lead. He can either win it in this one or completely bin it on the Kenny Motorsports Tecmo Racing Husqvarna. Team Race Tech Simon Wilhelmsen behind, beside him in pole position. In the starter's hands now. It's all important. Who's going to get the whole shot into this tight hairpin? The grand finale of the 2017 FIM Asia Super Sport, Supermoto Championship. Brought to you by Asian Super Sports Group and FIM Asia is about to kick into life. The nerves would be there. The butterflies building. The sweat trickling down the back as they sit in this stifling heat. Grabs a bell engineer. We're racing in the final round and Bill Helton gets a dynamite start. And where is Cornish? Into second position. Oh, there's a bit of a tag from behind him. But the Danish rider, followed by the guy from the United Kingdom in second position. As we expect that these two guys get out. Now, Bill Helms will be trying to get as much lead as possible at the moment because he knows he's going to be affected by this heat sometime in the next 20 minutes. He was only going out and putting about six and eight laps together during practice and qualifying. And look at right behind him. Cornish is doing what he's done all season. He's not worrying about the championship. He's going to let that look after itself. He's going to give chase, put pressure on the visiting Danishman and go, hey, you might be number four in the world, but I'm going to be number one in Asia and number three in the AMA as they go through the little timber tabletop jump. Coming back on a straight proper to finish the lap number one. The first lap of one minute 40, so in third position, Trakan Tantong, who's got a chance of taking this championship. Then it's Gabit in the fourth position. Kairi Zakaria there in fifth, then Makoto uh, Takayama in fifth and already we can see that the Danish rider is really starting to go and break their backs, break their spirit as much as possible. The two international class riders, Wilhelmsen finished fourth in the um, World Supermoto Championship this year. Cornish finished third in the AMA Championship in 2017 as well. And look at the gap they've already split up and I tell you what, these two are going to get into a big, big duel. Cornish should be... Um, have the advantage at the moment because he's been racing over here in the five rounds of the FOM Asia Supermoto Championship. This time last week, Bill Helmsman was out of the race after he crashed due to brake problems on his Husky, but they've been working on it rather dramatically this week. So he's, the bike is in fine form. He looks like he's in fine form. He's pulled it out at the moment. A 47.918 for a standing lap for Bill Helmsman. That is a rapid move off a standing start. They start the 47.606 um, for the qualifying time. That doesn't seem right at the moment, but we'll see as they come back down now to complete lap number two into the final little hairpin before they come over this little jump and then put the gas on in third gear and just wind it out to the stop as they go onto the side, almost scraping the pegs as they come around to complete lap number two. A 47.611 for... Phil Helms, oh, he has a big tank slapper and he's down. The Danish rider is down. He come off the jump the wrong way. Got the tank slapper on board and he's handed the lead to Lois Cornish. Is this the championship being wrapped up? Tricorn Tan Tong in third position. That is 20 points for him, so he might only gain five points on it. That'll mean 24 points if the position stays the same. Will we see a replay of that one? But um, Phil Helmson off the jump. You could see a bit of a tank slapper into the dirt. And as he's tried to turn the bike, the front end's just washed out on him. What a dramatic stuff. This is what Cornish needs. He wants to jump into the lead. They put a new clutch in the bike overnight, working till 1 o'clock in the morning to make sure the Kenny Motorsports tech no machine was uh, up to speed. And it looks like he's right on song at the moment. Completes yet another lap. 47.874 for um, the Englishman. Not worrying about the GoPro this weekend. 
onto this very fast section. Slows it down, back to second gear, back up to third, back up to fourth. Oh, the back end kicking out as it hits the white lines now into the hairpin. Now he's just got to concentrate. He's got to ride as hard as he can, but not overstep the mark. It's all his to lose at the moment, Lewis Cornish. Not even taking the feet off the pegs very rarely. He just did then. Now over the jump to get into the last two, two turns. But what can Bill Helmsen do in reply at the moment? So it's Cornish at 47.874. In third spot is Siltra Khan, Tan Tong. Then uh, Kari Zakaria there, the man that's got an ch outside chance of moving in the second spot. But not while Tan Tong there is in uh, third position. That'll be a five point spread, so it'll be 24 points going into the final race. So at this rate, Cornish will not have wrapped up the championship, all bar one point. When one point can seem like 100 points. Now, can Bill Helmson do anything on the tech race to the team race tech, Hus Husqvarna, the big 450, the FS model machine? But uh, it looks like Cornish now with a gap out to about 2.3 seconds. Now, Trakan is two sec less than two seconds behind Bill Helmson in second position. So here we're trying to put a bit of pressure on the visiting Danish rider. I tell you what, I thought Cornish was going to put the pressure on the Danish rider, but it was the Danish rider that put the pressure on himself. Bill Helmson succumbing two laps ago to crash out. That's two crashes in two races, but fortunately he's been able to remount and still remain in second position. On lap seven. As they come down now, Cornish riding inch perfect at the moment. Only one sl slight slide as he came out of the final turn when he put the gas down on the Kenny Motorworks Tecmo racing machine. Onto the straight, the complete lap number seven. Already the back markers are starting to come into play. Some very energetic uh, signalling going on from some team members here just outside our studio here. Bill Helmsman still in second position. But uh, Zakaria will be having to get past Rakan Tan Tong in third position to give uh, the championship to Lewis Cornish at the moment. 0.9 of a second between third and fourth. But the man at the moment, Lewis Cornish, he's doing everything right. He's just got to let everything else fall into play. The cards are falling his way at the moment to go into the lead with that little whoopsie by Bill Helmsman. But now he's got to hope that uh, Tricord can make a slight mistake and let Zakaria there into third position, which will hand him the championship with one race to spare. So there's the difference between third and fourth at the moment. The local hero, Kari Zakaria, he's starting to put uh, some pressure on the 2015 champion, the Thai rider truck, Trakan Tan Tong. Oh, and Zakaria made a little mistake coming through that uh, third turn, second turn, pardon me. Just when he thought he was going to put a bit of pressure on the tyre rider, he's just dropped it off ever so slightly. So a 47, top two riders into the 47.8, 47.6. So Phil Helmsman's still fastest man on track at the moment. But uh, he's not making many inroads into Cornish. Cornish taking advantage of uh, putting some lap riders between him and his adversaries. Now Sakaria there in third. Going through the field, we've got uh, Tam uh, Takashi Sasaki there to know on bike number one. Yes, it's Sasaki up there leading away for the Japanese from bike number two, Makoto Arai. And then it's Hazroy Osman in eighth position. Artem Tetslenko in ninth. Then on bike number 300, dropping through Naoto Takiyama, making his first appearance. Then Pedro Wuna in 11th position. Then in 40th position, Lee Wei from Taiwan. Then it's Sun Tong from Hon uh, China. And then from Hong Kong, rounding out the field, is a Sing Wei K. So who's had another whoopsie there? Just trying to, is that Bill Helmsman that's had another bit of a whoopsie as I was going through the leaderboards on the Husky? Is the fatigue starting to drain the energy from this man? It is. Bill Helmsman down to fourth position. Now, now the points are down to uh, still a five-point gap. But Zakaria there now 
within 0.4 of a second of moving into third position. This race is getting as hot as the temperature, as hot as the sun that's beating down on this stadium. Bullock Jalil track at the moment. So, a wretched time for uh, Simon Bill Helmsman, fourth in the world. But as he said beforehand, he was worried about the fatigue setting in. This heat is energy sapping, and he is a prime example coming from the, the winter wilds of Denmark and trying to fight his way back at the moment. So Cornish now with a lead of a good couple of seconds at the moment from Trakan. There's our riders at the moment. There is Wilhelmsen going back to our leader now. Should be Lewis Cornish, who is in a very commanding position. So Trakan there in second. Sakaria third. Wilhelmsen back to fourth position. Gabit there in fifth. Sasaki in sixth. And Arrow, the Japanese man, in seventh position. And uh, we're seeing there Trikhan there at the moment. But Sakaria, he's pressuring him. He's wanting to make a mistake. If that can be the case, and as I said a couple of times, if Zakaria can get into second position, that'll be Lewis's Cornish's championship at the end of this race. 12 laps down. We're now into the final 10 minutes of this 20-minute moto, plus two laps to go afterwards. So Zakaria's is trying. These guys should be used to the heat. Oh, a big, who's that down there trying to pick up the rider? That was looking like, uh, is that uh, YK from Hong Kong that's thrown it into the weeds there? Just trying to pick up the number. No, it is. He went out for a great dinner last night. He might be looking for another one of those tonight, actually. But that's him out of the race. So back to our second place position at the moment. Trakan Tantong, the 2015 FAMH Supermoto Championship winner. Trying to hold off the attentions of Zakaria there. And then right behind him is the Danish rider, Bill Helmsman. He's going to put the big uh, hammer move on them at the moment. He's just going to sledgehammer his way through. He wants, he's got some pride to salvage. He hasn't got anything to do with the championship at the moment. But you try and tell that to a guy when he puts a motorbike helmet on and puts a motorbike between his legs. Up the inside he comes. He pushes Zakaria wide. Zakaria's got no answer, has he? He has a bit of a dip up the inside. Shows him a front wheel, but not enough for Bill Helmsman. You'll have to get out a bit earlier of bed than that to try and unset the yarn, Davey. Oh, and Zakaria goes down. Wow, this all happening here. This track, man, the tyres must be getting very slippery in this very hot condition. So I tell you what, if... Um, well, it's still going to go to the wire. It's 22 points for second, 20 points for third. At the moment, there'll be still a 22-point gap at the moment between first and second in the championship chase. If the positions stay the same, but I reckon Bill Helmsen's up the inside of this. Hard on the wall. He has a big dip. He pushes Trakant wide there, so he moves back into second position. So at the moment, it's still a one-point championship. If the positions stay the same now with about... Seven minutes and two laps to go with this opening moto with the grand finale of the fifth round here in Kuala Lumpur. There'll be one point in it. Wow, couldn't get much more than that. He's uh, one point away from a championship. So looking, Zakaria's still there in fourth position, is he? He should have had enough regret to be able to pick it up. But there he's uh, already left uh, Tantong well and truly behind him at the moment as he gives chase to Lewis Cornish. Is this going to be a dramatic finish? I'll tell you what, if he's feeling any effects from the heat, it's definitely not showing. He is on a mission at the moment. Fastest man on track at 47.611 is Bill Helmsman. Cutting uh, Lewis's lead by a couple of tenths of a second a lap won't be enough to really pressure him. He's five seconds behind. But then, once we say, once the red mist comes down, anything is possible. So Zakaria there in fourth. Then Gabit in fifth position, the outgoing champion of 2016. Takashi Sasaki in sixth. Makoto Arai in seventh position. Hezroy Osman in eighth position. Artem Tezlenko in ninth and rounding out the top ten. His name Oto. Um, I 
Takeyama there on bike number 300 for position number 10. So we're coming down to the final five minutes, but remember, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, wherever you're watching the live streaming around the world, we've got two more laps after the uh, 20 minutes is up. And it looks like uh, now 47.611, the fastest lap for uh, Phil Helmsman in that one. The gap now, seven seconds, so that's a big ask for anybody to hold back. And looking at Cornish, he's making it look easy. He's been inch perfect every lap. Had one slight little rear end kick out on him on about lap number three. But apart from that, he is put into practice what he said during the course of the weekend. I'm just going to treat this like any other race and go out and try and win it, which he's done in pretty dramatic style. Having the lead gifted to him with that little uh, faux pas by Simon Wilhelms when went out, coming off the uh, tabletop jump. Got that little bit of a tank slapper in the front end washed out on him. Now, the only thing that can really happen here is um, Cornish has a look behind to see where the opposition is. Is if any of the slower riders get in his way and cut off his racing line. Only got to take a little, hit the bars a bit too hard in one direction and you can be down on the deck as uh, soon as you can think about it. But he's negotiating the traffic now, just seeing what he's lapping up to. He's lapping up to now position number eight. In front of him at the moment is bike number 300, Naoto Takeyama. One of the three Japanese riders in this field this weekend. And he's um, passing uh, Sun Tong again for the second time by the look of it. Yep, Sun Tong from China is on lap number 16. And Lewis Cordish on lap number 18. Just under four minutes to go. The blue flags have been waved furiously around this track as the leaders just uh, skied their way through this pack. So at the moment, Trakan still in third position. A 48 496 is fastest lap so easy. Oh, who was that that's gone down again? It's just trying to pick out that one. That was a quick flash. If we could have another look at who with it. That was on screen. Just see if it was one of the back markers or one of our leading riders. But there's Cornish. Look at him. He's just threading the needle at the moment. Left and right, taking him all over. These guys are getting education in dramatic supermoto riding as well as Bill Helmson in his uh, Husqvarna at the moment. A 47.2, he's a 4.2 second gap at the moment. He's fastest lap of 47.6 compared to Lewis Cornish of 47.8. The gap now, we're having a bit of a four seconds, 4.3 seconds at the moment. So Bill Hel Helson has cut down the gap and that's probably been helped a little bit by the uh, back markers balking Cornish as he thinks which way do I take them, left or right, and which part of the track, because there's not a lot of passing manoeuvres even if you're coming over a lap rider and you've really got to make it stick. So that was Cornish that had that little whoopsie down there. He's dropped back into second position. So the camera's just caught the tail end of that, unfortunately. So Bill Helmsman back into the lead. 6.11, he's just gone and put in his fastest lap of the race so far. So they're on their 21st lap with two minutes left to go before it starts all over again. And Trakan, so that'll mean that it'll only be a two point, so it'll be a 21 point deficit for Trakan. And after what we've seen in this race, anything is possible. So Cornish, it's three, to, three of the four top riders have crashed. Bill Helmsman crashing twice. Cornish crashing once. They've got one minute and 40, so they'll get another lap and a half in before the two lap, two more lap board comes out. But uh, Bill Helmsman just proving that you've got to be in it to win it till the very end. And he might have been just having a bit of a psychological play, saying, I don't know what the, if he can handle the heat for 20 minutes. He certainly made a mockery of those statements, that's for sure. So we can hear the tyres screeching being tortured as they fight for grip around this 800 metre circuit here at Stadium Booker Jalil. So 2.8 seconds. So Cornish has just got to settle into it. Pity we couldn't get a replay of that uh, dramatic incident that happened at turn number one a few laps ago.
just as I start a waxing lyrical about inch perfect for Lewis Cornish, the commentator's curse comes out and he puts it to the ground. So Wilhelmsen in first position, Cornish in second, Trakan Tantong in third, Sakaria fourth, Gabit in fifth. So the positions have stayed pretty much the same there except for that dramatic change of leaders. So two leaders and they swapped the lead a couple of to three times in this race. So he just comes past with 25 minutes left on the clock. He'll get the two, minute, two lap board at the end of this circuit. So it's just seen where Tan Tong is there. He's still about five seconds adrift of second position. And in turn, he's six seconds ahead of Kyrie Zakaria there in fourth position. So at this rate, there'll, as I said, there'll be a 21-point spread of points. So Trakan has still got an outside chance of reclaiming the title he first won in 2015. As we see Bill Hel Helmson come in to get the two-lap board. And the gap now between him and Lewis Cornish down now to 3.2 seconds. So it's just a matter of uh, hanging it on there. Cornish there, you can see just as uh, Bill Helmson disappears over the, uh, the doubles, you can see Cornish come into view. So the two lap board has been brought out at Complex Ukan Nagata here in Kuala Lumpur. So what a dramatic race we've had for the opening leg of the final round of the 2017 FIM Asia Supermoto Championship here in KL. And I reckon they'll be needing a well-earned drink and maybe a bit of a shower after this one. If there's any uh, buckets of ice there for the drinks, I'm sure the drinks will be evicted and the riders will be going into it because uh, pretty torturous conditions to be riding in. So, Bill Helmson's on his last lap of this opening leg. So again, he'll start from pole position. So the only change on the grid really is that Tricarn will move up from fifth position on the grid in leg number one to be on the inside of the row number one for the opening leg. Wow, that is just set a scene for something very dramatic. The races, as we said, the red mist with Tricarn on the inside line going into turn one for the race number two. But here they come. Bill Helmson there about ready to get the chequered flag and take 25 points and... Um, showing the quality and the class of the man that finished fourth in the World Supermoto Championship in 2017. Second position to come through will be Cornish, gets the chequered flag again. The handshakes will be uh, out there. They made a pact between each other that they wouldn't put on the hard charging racing at the moment. And they're probably saying, I can't believe that. You crashed twice, I crashed once, and we still finished first and second. But uh, what a race that was. Just a quick drink of water here for me at the moment. If I'm dry, I can just imagine what these other blokes are going through. So, a dramatic way to start proceedings for the 2017 grand finale here at Stadium and Book at Jalil in Kuala Lumpur. And the victor, Bill Helmson there, with a race time of 21 minutes and 59.94 seconds with a fastest lap of 47.611. Takes the lead by four, about three and a half seconds from Lewis Cornish from Great Britain with a fastest lap of 47.855. Trakan Tantong in third position. And isn't that interesting? One, two and three in the championship, finished second, third and fourth in the race with their world number four taking out the victor. Then Muhammad Habibullah in fifth position. Takashi Sasaki, Makoto Arai and Naoto Takeyama, the trio of Japanese in sixth, seventh and eighth positions, separated by about half a minute. And then Hasroy Osman in ninth position and Artem Teslenko in tenth. Then it's Pedro Werner 11, Sun Tong Li Wei, Lin Chin Pei and Sang Wei Kei in fifteenth position after a crash as well. So 
Well, what a dramatic finish it was here at Complex Sukar Nagara, the National Sports Complex in Kuala Lumpur that hosted the Commonwealth Games and now hosts a lot of uh, international football matches, whether it be rugby league, soccer and also some baseball from what I've been led to believe. But uh, the boys there will be looking for some frosty treats very quickly to uh, try and rehydrate themselves with some isotonic drinks and some water and uh, a quick bath as well to get that core temperature down. So the, the results are out. So Bill Helmson taking it out from Cornish, Tantong, and the next race coming up at 4 o'clock this afternoon local time, which is about 5 o'clock in Thailand, Taiwan, Hong Kong and the Philippines. And it'll be 7 o'clock in Australia and 8 o'clock in the morning in England. 9 o'clock in the morning in Western Europe and 10 o'clock in the morning in Eastern Europe. And I say those times because we've got viewers all around the world on this FIM Asia Supermoto Championship. And over in America, it'll be about uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon as well. Particularly in Hawaii and a bit earlier there, probably about uh, midday, 11 o'clock at night, sorry, pardon me, in uh, mainland USA. But what a dramatic race. Bill Helmsman crashing twice and uh, managing to come through for the win. Lewis Cornish taking second and a vital couple of points to come into the final race at four o'clock this afternoon with a 22-point lead over Trakan Tantong, who finished third. And we'll be back. We'll take a quick break and be back in about 15 minutes for our paddock show, uh, where JD and myself will be down there to get some words of wisdom from our riders in the first race of the final round of the FIM Asia Supermoto Championship here at Stadium Bukit Jalil. We'll see you soon. <laughs> 